An abandoned burial ground in East Knox County has some people now asking, why can't the site be cleaned up? It is a question mirrored at dozens of other long forgotten cemeteries all around East Tennessee. WAT 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare went to the graveyard in the Carter community. Don? Well, Bo, what we found were several dozen toppled over tombstones and other grave markers. When you drive down a section of Carter School Road, there's no indication at all that some of the founding members of the community are buried about 100 yards off the roadway. The East Knox County community has a school named after Pasco Carter, even a park. Now two local residents would like to restore some dignity to this final resting place. That is a, a Carter family. Neighbors Wilma Helton, Sheila Lutringer, and I cut through thick brush and briars just off Carter School Road in East Knox County. Watch your footing. We made our way into a deeply wooded area with no footpath or easy access. Mrs. Elton and Mrs. Lutringer showed us this unmarked, long abandoned graveyard. These memorial tombs are amazing and it's history. It's hidden history. No one knows this is here. Florence Vance, married to John Carter, 1871. Carter and Vance are the family names carved on many of the stones that are scattered around the large site. These uh, are the footstones back here of these people here that uh, it has fell over. For such a sacred area to have fallen in disrepair with no recognition of those who lie here saddens these two Carter community residents. This is a legacy for the people of this area. But if they don't know about it and it's not being taken care of, it will disappear. As you can see already, nature is taking over. Several headstones have toppled. I would like to see it just cleaned up around it. I mean, you don't have to clean up the whole area, but made it make it possible that people could see that this is here and this is part of this community and probably how it got its name. This headstone indicates Pascal Carter. He is named or the local park is named after him. Less than half a mile away is Pascal Carter Community Park with a picnic area for families and a play area for children. The park is named after one of the most prosperous early merchants of East Knox County. So there is a lot of rich history connected to this family. The origination of that cemetery dates from about 1820 with the Walker family. Robert McGinnis is the curator at Knoxville's historic James White Fort. He's researched and written dozens of books about old cemeteries around Knoxville. He says it was 200 years ago that the Walkers were first buried here, then the Vances, and it was Mr. Carter who married into the family. And if it hadn't been for Pascal Carter marrying a Vance daughter, it'd probably have been Vance community, Vance school, Vance mill. While Sheila and Wilma would like to see the graveyard improved, Mr. McGinnis believes any restoration should be comprehensive. If you're going to clean up a cemetery, clean up the entire thing, but not just for the one time. Make sure you've got something in place to go back and take care of it over the long term. Now, historian Robert McGinnis told us many abandoned cemeteries in East Tennessee that he has researched are the remnants of either family burial grounds or former churchyards when the church is disbanded. He says it is nearly impossible to pinpoint exactly how many abandoned burial grounds exist in our area, much less find the legal owners or, or shoulder the cost of cleaning them up. If a place like Carter Family Cemetery is restored, Mr. McGinnis would like to see it done properly, as you heard, but it could only be done with the approval of the legal owners of the property. Bo. Don, thank you very much. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare.wat.com or call us six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.